Hey you guys, welcome and welcome in to Divine Golden Master, where we master being divine on this 3D reality. Okay, so let's just jump right in, you guys. I'm basically going to do a um, shop with me at the Botanica video, show you guys some of the things that I got um, and what you can get if you have these at your local Botanica, how to use them, um, what's good, maybe even give you some ideas or some things that you've never seen before that you can incorporate um, in your maintenance or like your maintenance, like your everyday practice or into just maybe your monthly, your yearly. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So first and foremost, I want to show you guys um, some baths. So the first one I'm going to show you, and these are the uh, liquid baths, okay? This one right here is the Bayberry. Now, I also have a Bayberry candle. Bayberry is very... Uh, I'm going to tell you guys some things about certain ones, but for the most part, I want you guys to kind of do your research so you can see, like, whatever resonates with you, go ahead and do your research and see, like, okay, I want to get that one, or this resonates with me because you found some information that, like, okay, I need this, or this would be really beneficial for me, okay? So this is the Bayberry. And Bayberry is really good. They sell a lot of Bayberry candles, even in the regular stores, like Walmart and things like that. Bayberry fragrance around the holiday time. Um, it's like something that usually like around Christmas time. But Bayberry is so good to keep money in your pocket. Okay, Bayberry is essential, I feel like, if... Especially if you, like, attract customers, get tips, uh, own your own business, sales, things like that. This Bayberry is, like, essential. It's going to keep things flowing, going, thriving, and progressing, right? Um, and it's also something that's, like, very consistent, I feel like. Whenever I like Bayberry candles, it's also an energy of abundance that you feel um, that really is just, like, especially with the bath, it just warms your soul and is very healing um and it helps you to stay in an abundance mindset okay um let me show you guys the candle i'm going to tell you guys the prayer so we can just kind of jump around in between the candles and the baths and i also got some soaps so it says a bayberry candle burned to the socket brings luck to the home and go to the pocket okay brings luck to the home and go to the pocket so that is very true for me okay a lot of people like this is like an og like this is a og like and this is one where i feel like you really can't go wrong if um <coughs> now i feel like too it's like if you feel like it's been blocks in your financial situation i would definitely pair it with like a row opener but it's definitely going to bring abundance and prosperity and this is what the candle look like highly recommend that all right now I'm gonna show you guys this next candle this is a um, law stay away candle okay so this is a good candle to <coughs> This is a good, excuse my throat, y'all. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. All right. But yeah, this is a really good candle to keep the law away, okay? If um, you know somebody who does illegal dealings or um, even just you have to do some type of justice work in court, whatever. That's this instant getting in my throat, I think. This is a great candle. And me personally... I like law stay away candles just because I feel like, um, why play fair in an unfair world? You know, I don't really agree with, <coughs> or even feel like there is justice within the system. So it's like, you know, I like to keep that far away from me. I don't even live in that reality of police. And like, I always tell you that, like, I don't even live in the reality of police and dealing with that so i keep that energy away from me i also have a mojo bag too that i carry so if you somebody like me and you want to do that or if you're doing something that you know is illegal whatever the case may be keep that energy away from you with this candle okay mm -hmm. 
Now, um, this candle right here, this is one of my favorites. I was just talking with one of my favorite sisters, Shayna, about this candle earlier. She's um she reads on Instagram. Y'all go follow her, okay? But this candle right here, baby. Okay, I think I told y'all about this one. Well, on Instagram, at least I know for sure I've told y'all about this candle. But the chameleon candle is good for luck, it's good for love, and it's good for money. Now, this is specifically a candle that I would recommend um, for women or just anyone who is wanting male uh, attention, okay? Or wanting to, like, who dates males, you know what I'm saying? Or even just deals with males. Like, because the prayer on this candle is, Dearest Chameleon, I ask your help to dominate over all men. I ask that blank be dominated by me. Now, I never put no name in there. I just put, I just, I sometimes say this petition, but I also write my own petition. Um, and I'm going to do some more videos for you guys. Uh, we're going to do some more, a lot more candle magic with the astrological new year coming around. It's time we're getting revamped. We re restart and refocus. You know, and we're just getting into it, and I love it, okay? But, yeah, I ask that blank be dominated by me. Luck, money, and love is what I ask from you. I was about to say for you, but luck, money, and love is what I ask from you, my dearest chameleon, okay? Let's do this one next. This one is a um, uh, call client. Bring customers. Now, if you are an entrepreneur on your own business or you work in a customer-based business, this is a great um, option for you to do. Okay, that will bring in a lot of clientele. Also, uh, I recommend getting a horseshoe. Like in the picture here, it's a horseshoe. It's garlic. And it's, um, well, I can't think of that plant. The snake plant. I think that's it. That is. Okay, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm about to show you out a picture. And um, I also get the representation, okay, where I, where I do my most business at. So you can do that as well as like a pro tip or whatever. Not necessary. You could just light this candle. Now this is a cocktail candle. You see the little and this one says um light this candle each beginning of the week in your business, praying the following prayer. Lord bless this humble business. The result of effort that I have given there. You, with your infinite goodness, never forsake those in need or those who, like me, are constantly striving. Continue blessing me with growth to have great results now and always. Amen. Okay. So that's a prayer. You can use that if you want to. You don't have to. The prayer does come on here in um, Spanish and English. Okay. Uh, and let me show you the picture. And this is the. Let me show you. This is the horseshoe, the garlic, and the plant I was talking about. Okay. Now, while we're talking about customers. I'm going to show you guys another one that helps bring you customers. And this one is, um, it's like a colorful road opener as well. Like the road opener candles can be colorful like this. Okay. But they have bring customers. So this is helping to remove blocks on all levels. Um, if you may have them, um, within your business, your store, whatever the case may be. And on this candle, I actually have the space for you to write your store's name or your business name right here, which is awesome, okay? Let's bring customers, all the arrows, the money right there.
okay, and this one doesn't have a prayer, but you can write your own petition for this one. You can kind of script about um, how you want things to go, how you want to see um, the customer show up, you know what I'm saying? Um, and you can add to it, like, um, I'm grateful that I have the capacity to fill all these orders or whatever the case may be for you. You know what I'm saying? Make it make it specific and make it yours, okay? Now, another really awesome candle that I got today, which I never tried this one before and I'm excited about this because the symbolism behind it, okay? So this is a master key candle and it's a candle that's poured because it's dressed all the way through. Okay, and um, yeah, so keys are symbolic of uh, when you carry a key, like I was wearing a key, I wear a key necklace sometimes. Um, I always keep a key somewhere around me, all right, in my purse, I have a key because you want to have the master key to life, you want to have the master key to anything that you want to accomplish relationships you want to have the master key to if you're a student college if you're um doing hair you want to have the master key to doing hair if you're uh competing in some type of sport or something you want to have the master key to be able to walk through that number one winner door right or if you're trying to build generational wealth you want to have the master key to that and this candle is able to help you maintain and align yourself in that frequency of having the master key to all the doors right no blocks because you have the master key all doors are open for you all right so this candle is awesome it's great um i haven't used this specific candle but like i said i do work with uh keys so i know that i'm super excited about this this is going to be great now another one i want to show you guys which i already lit this one so i'm just gonna show you guys like this is why i'm not showing it as much but um this is the black chicken candle okay now the black chicken candle is good for absorbing any negative energy okay so if you feel like if you feel stagnant if you feel stuck if you feel like it's like it's like a, in a funk, if you feel like you're not moving forward, you're not progressing, things are not working out, it's one thing after another, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're just at that mo moment in life where you just don't know about anything, this candle is good, okay? Now, let's talk about the difference between a white candle and a black candle white candle is um reflecting that light energy out into your home right but that black candle is absorbing if there's negative energy in your home you don't want the white candle that's pushing it out it's not really getting rid of it the black candle is going to absorb the negative energy that way you're able to rid that from your home okay so and the black chicken significance is that's what it is it's for that renewal it's for that refresh. It's for that spiritual gunk that, you know, that the spiritual bath is not getting off. That the floor wash is not doing. It's not working. Okay? So, we're going to take that. That could be like a monthly maintenance, right? Every couple months. Depending on how much your energy is out there. Because it's like, when if we live in a universe that the all is really mine... The more that people think about you in a certain type of way is energy. You have to look at everything in energy. If this is uh, causing energy, what kind of energy is it? And what does it feel like? If people are seeing you negative energy, you're going to feel that. You could naturally feel those negative projections. Okay, so this can just absorb any type of um, spiritual gunk. Okay. Now, let me show you guys another one. And this is actually the perfect time to do any type of um, removal work, okay? But I'm not going to say, like, you can do things anytime you want to. You know, it's up to you. Use your discernment. 
But I always do work for blessings and abundance and things like that. But I like to do most of my, like, removals during the waning moon when the moon is going from the full moon to the new moon. So it's taken away. That way it's removing. Okay? And you can pair it with different signs. If the moon is in Scorpio, that's a good day to work with that death energy, that transformation. Okay? Um, that Pluto energy. But, yeah. So, the next one I'm going to show you guys is, I got these reversal can candles. Speaking about removing things, okay? So, this is a reversal. You could use this for love here to reverse any negativity within a love situation. Reverse that energy and clear that energy out. Um, you can also, too, like... Depending on, red can be used for more than just love, okay? So, depending on what it is, you know, you may be able to use it for more than just that. We got the green and black reversal. So, if you want to remove um, and reverse negative energy within your money, um, green also represents the heart chakra. So, you can remove any type of negative things uh, like pain and things like that within your heart. You really could cater it to how you want to cater it, Okay? With the vibration of the color now white um if you want to just do like a purification removal of negative energy hex removals things like that this can be used um but yeah just do your research okay and i think i have a reversal video up if i don't i'll make one um y'all can let me know too down in the comments on instagram and on youtube what what candles and things that y'all want to see me actually do on camera um, and I can go in that order to be able to show you guys, like, because I'm getting back into my candle videos, and we're going to do a lot more teaching this year again, kind of like the year before last, where we did a lot of teaching. Uh, we're going to get back into that. You know, last year was more so about the mental magic, because we got to get a control of that mind. We got to be in control of our mind. And if now that we didn't got through the mental magic, we're getting into back into the candle magic and combining it and making it stronger okay all right so the next candle i'm going to show you guys is the this is um you could say this is similar to the runaway devil candle where you it's like removing negative energy um you can really do your research and see how it resonates for you but you can use it in multiple different ways if it's just negative energy if, if it's a specific person sending you negative energy if it is uh, monitoring spirits whatever the case may be you can use this energy right here this candle with the cross and the devil on it and this is basically a representation of showing you decreasing that energy purifying that energy clearing that energy out that negative energy okay um really just removing it by shining and vibrating high with a white light because what do we say the white candles do reflects out reflects the light out right okay now let's get into some more baths. Hold on, guys. This bath right here is the uh, Jinx Killer. Okay, so it's like Jinx removal. Um, and this is a really good one. It smells so good, too. Now, um, the way I use these, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, people are like, oh, I don't know. People, Some people feel certain types of ways about these. I love these, okay? I love the soaps by these brands, like the bar soaps, the washes, the floor wash. Hey, Okay, and I also, my biggest thing, too, is I make, I make mixtures, too. So, I will take some of mine, take some of this, take some of that, and I make a potion, right? A magic potion. So, it's all about the combination, okay? Because you may need more than one thing at a time. 
but this right here is specifically a jinx killer so jinx is basically just removing bad luck sent your way um or if it's just you just keep having bad luck it just keeps happening for uh whatever reason um this one right here is the chance one which is good for like gambling being lucky getting picked by chance you know what i mean and they smell so good. I ain't gonna lie. I smell all of them already. Now, this one I never tried before, but this is patchouli. Um, and it's the Indio Bravo. It just was giving me the American Indian vibe. It was giving me, like, strong. You know what I'm saying? And I have definitely feel like I lived, uh, I was the American Indian in the past life. Or maybe a future life. Who knows? <coughs> because I have vision, so I really just connected with the image. And that's another thing I want to tell you guys that I always tell my friends and things like that. Whenever you feel called to something, just like how I was live the other day, I was called to a herb while I was in the Spanish store. And, like, as soon as I got home and looked it up, it was all about what I was talking about right before I said it. And it was just insane because our intuition knows and it just shows you how time is an illusion and how everything is just so divine and meant and happened the way it's supposed to. So, yeah. So, I picked this up and it was just really speaking to myself. And I got it, Okay. Ty, can you go check on him for me? Huh? Can you go down there for me? What? To get Roman. The next one is, um, this is an Adam and Eve, but they got it on there as Adam and Eva, okay? But this is like an Adam and Eve, so you could pair this with like an Adam and Eve candle or um, some type of love working, some type of um, working that has to do with an intense, um, committed love connection, Okay? And also, if you're trying to attract it, or if you already have it and you want to um, boost it, make it better, whatever the case may be, or, you know, like, what I say is, like, maintenance, you know? If you want to maintenance it. So, you don't wait till it's a problem to fix things, right? Okay. We got, this bath is an uncrossing bath. Um, and this one smells so good. I ain't gonna lie, the colors, I love the colors on here. It's so cute. Bubblegum vibes, all right? Um, this is a Oya bath. Now I'm gonna do a video specifically about Oya, but this is another like with Oya. If you want change, I'm gonna tell you what to do. I'm gonna tell y'all a ritual that like is super simple that don't even involve no candles, but you can add one if you want to, of course. But it don't even involve that. With Oya, that is life changing. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I got that. And it was just given, like, the color was given, like, grounding energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was given very much, like, earth sign energy. So, I got that. Like, I like to be grounded. All right. And then I got um, Ye My Ye. All right. That ocean and motherly cleanse. All right. Y'all right, know I love my Orishas. So, I got Ye My Ye. And her smells so good, too. Um... I also got this other one from this brand called, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Powerful Indian. Um, it says Love Me, okay? So this is a Love Me oil. Um, like when I do my self-love baths, it's going to be really cute, the pink ones, to so go ahead and add in there. Because even if you don't um, have it at the very moment, you can always add a tea bath for attraction, okay? To attract those things. Not that you're desperate for it. But you're attracting it because you know that's the vibration that you deserve. That's the alignment that you deserve. That type of commitment. So that's what you're attracting in. Now this other one is another um, Jinx removing. And you can also use these in your floor washes. Not only just your baths. Okay. You can even just do a foot wash if you don't want to like sit in the bath. Because you feel like it might be body your skin. But I've never experienced that. <clears throat> and I have sensitive skin. Alright, now, I'm not going to show everything because it is a lot, but let me show you guys one, a couple other things. Okay, so I think I told you guys about these before, but these are the rose incense. Alright, rose is really good for, um, rose is the highest vibration, right? It's the highest vibrating flower, so it's like, it's really good for everything, okay? And I like to burn roses um, all throughout my week, but definitely on Fridays. That's Venus Day. Y'all know what I say, on Fridays we wear lingerie. Okay, um, because 
it, I believe in tapping into that divine feminine energy. Now, I know there's those that's like, oh, well, Friday is not really a day, and days are not really days. They're really not things. Yeah, they're not, but collective consciousness is. And when it's a collective chiming in on a certain consciousness, a certain thought, a certain day, a certain belief, it becomes very intense, and that energy grows, right? That's like if everybody started to really start to really live by the hermetic principles or something like that, energy would transform rapidly and tremendously on earth because everything wouldn't be able to live the same way because it's like everybody's living light as a feather. Everybody's healed. So it's like we won't even have no crime. We won't even have this. So it's like, you know, okay. And I know I just dragged it and took it to the furthest extent, but hey, I had to. <laughs> I had to. Okay. <laughs> now, this other oil right here. Um, I think this is the only oil I'm going to show you guys because I didn't put other ones out. But this is a oil that is the helping hand oil. Okay? That's a root. The helping hand root. Alright? They got it in Spanish on there. But this is a um, helping hand oil and that's really good to anoint your wallet with. Um, anoint your doors with. Anoint your money with. Um, even just anoint a white candle with or a green candle because it is literally, especially if you own your own business, if you do work, you have clients or things like that, go ahead and get it. Because no matter what you do, whether you cut hair, do hair, do nails, sell something, sell cars, whatever, Airbnb, you're going to get clients. Okay? Tarot, they're going to book you. All right? So that is a good oil to have for that. Now, um, this next one, I'm going to show you guys. You know you guys. You guys already know my OG family members, for those who are not OGs, welcome to the family, okay? You getting to know me, but for everybody who's been here, you know, my day one A1s, y'all know I am uh, a devotee of Santa Marte, and I go hard for her, okay? And when y'all already know the experience I had when I was in LA and all that, and it was just like such a rewarding experience. I had been working for her for a couple of years at that point, but then I think it was like two years, and then when I went out there, it was just like... The energy was just so heartfelt. So this is like one of my um, spirit mothers, okay? One of my mothers on the spirit realm. And this is a Santa Marte Vin De Niro incense, okay? And um, this is my first time getting this one. But you basically just burn it on like a charcoal... And this is what it looks like. Okay. Let me smell it. Cause I, know, I just opened this one. Oh, yeah. This smells really good. It's must just like powder and salt or something. But, yeah. So, I'm going to burn that on charcoal. I'm probably going to sprinkle some um, around my, like, the four corners of my home for protection and to bring in money around my door. Blow it into my door like the cinnamon. This place to really utilize it. Um, even my candles and things like that. So, yeah, just get creative, okay? And one more thing that I got. Um, this is the last one on the show. That's really curious to her. Thank you, baby. Look at my baby. Got me my other. This is my good luck salt from one of my favorite botanicas. She's amazing. Um, she's an amazing uh, practicing practitioner. And I just love her energy. Her shop is um, in Griffin, Georgia. And it's A's Candle, the letter A, with partial BS candles. I really like her shop. This is her good luck song. I use that in the new year, and I've been using it um, over time. Okay. Now, this is, um, this is another thing that I loved about. Now, this store I went to today, this store was um where was this at this is also in georgia of course but um it was santa fe mall okay and where is that uh, duluth i think and it's called victoria botanica amazing somebody told me about this store and i was just like when i went in there i was just like oh my god like, where have you been? Like, it looked like L.A. Like, I have never seen a store in Georgia like that store. 
like with so many cocktail candles, so many dress candles. I'm gonna do a come to the Botanica with me, okay? Because they have everything. I gotta go to the other store. They got two stores. I'm gonna try the other one too. But they have from statues to every oil, the square oils, to every candle, literally like four, like six rows of candles. Like they have from Santeria to Yoruba to everything. Jesus is in there. They got everything in there. Okay. The saints, they have everything. So I highly recommend them. And they have like, also they even have like the loose candles that's already dressed. And they have everything. All right. So I'm definitely going to be back. And these are made straight from Mexico, all right? And, like, I really resonate and vibrate with the Mexico, the Mexican energy. Like, I know I had to have been lived there in a past life, but I really resonate with it. And, like, um, even just things that tie to it outside of um, candle magic. Like, I really resonate with Mexico, everything about it. And I love... Um, like I got certain things that, you know, so I know that it's, it's embedded in my soul. Okay. Anyway, so this is another scent of birthday, uh, devoted candle. And this is about bringing about change when it comes to, um, just overall luck, but like money, love, and, um, really just, my bad, I'm trying to see what they got on here. But really just like, I like to work with her for the red, just for power. Like for the, to knock all the bullshit out and bring all the blessings. I like to work with her red candle. Cause I usually use her glass candle. So this is like really exciting for me that it's a loose candle. So let me show you, I'll open it. Let's open it, you guys. Let's do it. And they had, it was um, buy one, get one. So I was like, three, three. And I'm like, how much do you want? I think it was 35 So then you get um, two of them for like, what's that? Two and a half. But you can't beat that. Because you could pay that for a regular glass candle that don't got nothing in it. Which is why, like, it'd be like a lot of botanicals be getting over. Like, it'd be like, bro, come on, bro. And don't even be having all the stuff. So the paper that's on it, I'm definitely going to put it around the altar. Uh oh, the other one's fine. All right, you guys, so, yes, I absolutely love this candle, and I'm super excited about that one, too, um, but that's all I'm going to show for now. I showed a lot, and I got to go to you guys. I got some readings I got to do, and I got a consultation in about 15 minutes, so I love you guys. Love yourself. Let me know in the comments what candles you want me, want me to do on a one solo video, break the whole way to do it, and um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's manifest. And let's do our big one. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one. If you need a reading, go ahead and check out Divine Golden Intuitions. Um, I will have the reading post if you want to get a personal reading in the community tab. Um, and it's also posted in the Divine Golden Intuitions community tab. But if you want to just energetically love on me and watch a sign reading or a general reading, um, time is fluid. So just go ahead and pick through my list and enjoy. And yeah, I love you guys. Peace.